Our short run aggregate supply curve is upward slope. So we'd like to know why our short run aggregate supply curve is upward slope. We have three series that explain why it's upward slope, which means we have a positive relationship between inflation and output, price and output. The first theory is called a sticky wedge theory, which is a Keynesian theory. So we know that if prices go up, therefore our prices will be bigger than our expected prices. Consequently, our real wage is equal to nominal wage over price, so price will go up. So we'll accept that workers will claim higher nominal wage, but in the short run, we have a contract, therefore nominal wage is constant. Therefore, real wage would result in lower real wage, which means real wage will drop. Therefore, for you as a producer, you will hire people at a lower wage. Consequently, what will happen is your revenue will be greater than expense, therefore you have a motive to increase your output because you have lower cost of production. And that's why we'll discover that we have a positive relationship between price and output, consequently short-run aggregate supply curve is upward slope. The second theory is called the sticky price theory, and this is a new Keynesian theory. So, if the prices will increase, so let's assume that we have a restaurant and we print menu. It's not logical that we print a menu every day or every week. So we print a menu and we update it like every year or so. Therefore, if prices will increase, I cannot reprint new menus. And at the same time, I cannot charge people higher prices. I have to charge them the prices in the menu. Therefore, my relative price will be lower. If my relative price will be lower, it means that more customers will come to my restaurant. So the demand will be higher. So to meet this extra demand, I need to increase my output. Therefore, higher prices will be accompanied by higher output, which means we have a positive relationship between price and output, therefore short-run aggregate supply curve is upward slope. The third theory is called misperce misperception theory, which is a new classical theory, and this is based on the money illusion. Let's assume that if the prices will increase, therefore our prices will be bigger than expected prices. So here we will assume mistakenly, and that's why we call it misperception, that because we have a higher prices, Therefore, we should produce more to make higher profit. So we're going to increase our output. Therefore, we have a positive relationship. Therefore, short-run aggregate supply curve is upward slope. But what we didn't take into account that all our beers will increase the price as well. Therefore, our relative price will be constant. And that's why we shouldn't fall in this misperception theory. Then we have an upward short-run aggregate supply curve, and then we'd like to know when the short-run aggregate supply curve will shift, either to the right or to the left. So the factors that will shift our short-run aggregate supply curve will be all factors that shift long-run aggregate supply that we explained in the previous video, such as a change in natural rate of unemployment, narrow change of capital, either physical or human, a change in natural resources, and change in technology. We have another factor, which is mainly related to wage adjustment based on inflation expectation, which means if we have higher prices, therefore prices will be bigger than our expected prices. Our inflation will be bigger than our expected inflation. This is our real wage. Therefore, we know that prices will be higher than our expected prices. Nominal wage is constant because we have a contract. Therefore, the whole ratio will go down. Therefore, real wage will go down. So because real wage will go down, so short-run aggregate supply curve will shift to the left, to the right. Therefore, I know that short-run aggregate supply curve will shift to the right. We have a third factor that will shift short-run aggregate supply curve is the cost of production. For example, if we have a lower energy cost, therefore cost of production will be lower, therefore short-run aggregate supply curve will shift to the right. 